In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Hello, everybody. It's my pleasure time to be with you today. We are going to see English language for Super Goal 1. It's our subject today, gentlemen and girls. And also we have here our lesson today is Unit 5, Families, Families, Part 2. Listening, pronunciation, conversation about you. This lesson is on the first semester and it is also for the first intermediate grade. Take care, gentlemen and girls. This is for the first intermediate grade, not for the second and not for the third intermediate. And this lesson is prepared and presented by Mansour Al Garni. This is Mansour Al Garni. It's my pleasure time to be with you, gentlemen and girls. And let's see the first slide what it is about well gentlemen and girls today we are going and our students today are able to learn the following items the first thing our students are able to listen and to practice listening activities as you know gentlemen listening is the most important and we have to practice listening more than uh, more than two times or three times Anyhow, gentlemen, the second part, we are going to see how the words are pronounced together quickly. We have many words are pronounced together as quickly as we cannot pronounce it in one word, but we can, we can pronounce it by two words as one word. The third section, we are going to see real talk, gentlemen and girls. And we will conclude our presentation today by general discussion about all these activities. Anyhow, gentlemen and girls, the third slide is, it's time for listening. You know, gentlemen, I told you before, listening is the most important activities. We have in English four skills. The first skills is listening, and the second skills, speaking. And we have also writing skills and reading skills. All of these skills are related to each other. We cannot look for one skill and neglect the other. But all of these skills are connected with each other and we have to use all of them in one time if we can. Anyhow, anyhow, gentlemen and girls, it's a time for listening. I want to ask you before this, are you ready for listening? Yes, that's good. That's right. Okay, let's move to see the this listening activities. Listen carefully. Yes, this is listening and discuss. Listening, listen, complete the chart about Sarah family. Well, gentlemen, before we start this listening activities, I want you to see this chart and try to jot down and to bring a piece of paper and to write every word that is about Sarah, Sarah's family. This is how many brothers, how many sisters, how many uncles, how many aunts, and how many cousins. I want you to take a piece of paper and to jot it down any strange word for this. Okay, gentlemen and girls? Okay, be ready for listen. Okay? Come on. Page 35. 4. Listening. Listen. Complete the chart about Sarah's family. My name is Sarah Brown. I'm from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. My mother is from a big family, too. She has four brothers and three sisters. My father is from a small family. He doesn't have any brothers and sisters. He's an only child. All of my mother's brothers and sisters are married. So I have seven uncles and seven aunts, and I have 21 cousins. This is great. We have big family dinners, and we have lots of fun. Well, that's lots of fun, right? I agree with her. It's a big family, and there are many, many relatives there. She has 21, 21 cousins. This is good in relationship with relatives anyhow gentlemen after we 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 listened to this activities okay i want to ask you about the chart here we have this chart how many brothers does sarah have how many brothers 
one, two, three. How many brothers? Can you guess? Can you guess that one? Yes. Uh, yes. Great. Three. Three brothers. She has three brothers. Yes. That's right. Also, the other question is, how many sisters does she have? How many sisters does she have? She has three, five, six. Okay. Try to guess, gentlemen. As I told you, you have to jot it down. Yes, two. That's good. Nice. That's good. Two. Two sisters she has. That's nice. Okay. But the ankles, she has many ankles. As she said, she, uh, her mother has many relatives and has many brothers. Okay. Her ankles, exactly. Yes, seven. That's right. Seven. Seven ankles and seven hands. Wow, my God. It's a big family. This is, I don't have a family like that. According to my family, only I have three brothers and one, two sisters. My uncles, three, and my aunts, only one. But I have many, uh, many uh, cousins. We can see the last section of this cousin. How many? Oh my God, two. 20, 21, 21. It's so much. 21 cousins. It's a big family, this family. This, this Sarah family is big family. Okay. Anyhow, this is about a big family. We can see this is as a big family and you can compare this family with you. Do you have a big family or a small family? Try to guess and try to look at your relatives and your family. Are they same or not? Okay. Anyhow, let's move to the other slide to see. Yes, that's right. That's pronunciation, gentlemen and girls. Here, gentlemen and girls, pronunciation is is the most important also in order to produce what to produce words and to produce any the, the sounds how can we pronounce any words how can we pr produce any words i gave you here some some words but i want you to see how many syllables are there as you know gentlemen and girls we have one syllable two syllables three syllables four syllables five syllables it depends on the word for example, if we are going to see way, as you see this way, how many syllables here? Way, only, only one, way, one, one syllable, lot, lot, you see here, one syllable, one syllable, one syllable, changing, changing, how many syllables do you think here? Two, yes, that's right, work, work, one syllable, okay, students. Students, three syllables. Yes, that's right. Phonetics, phonetics, three syllables. Need, need, one syllable. Speaking, speaking, two syllables. That's right. Pronunciation, how many syllables this word? Pro, noun, see, shin. Four syllables. That's right. Yes, that's great. Okay, any words do you have or any words you see? It has many syllables. It depends on the on the way to produce it. But as advice to you, gentlemen, you you have to divide any words you see. For example, pro pronunciation. You have to say pro noun se shin. Divide divide the word in order to make it easy for you to produce this word and to pronounce it. This is the best way in teaching pronunciation which is by syllables anyhow gentlemen and girls let's move to the other slides and to see it this is this part is developing the pronunciation but as i told you gentlemen and girls this is a time for what for to see that one two words pronounced by one word for example as you see here gentlemen pronunciation listen to the pronunciation of do you okay like that okay notes how the words are pronounced together quickly this word do and you are pronounced one word. It cannot pronounce two words like do you, do you. Then practice, listen and practice. Look at this. Do you have a brother? Do you have a brother? We can't we can say, do you have a brother? And do you have any cousins? We can't say it. But the best one to say, do you have brothers? Do you have any uncles? This is the best way. Listen and try to practice, gentlemen and girls. Okay. Page 35. 5. Pronunciation. Listen to the pronunciation of do you? Notice how the words are pronounced together quickly. Then practice. 
Do you have a brother? Do you have any cousins? Yes. Do you have any brothers? Do you have any cousins? This is the way to pronounce two words in one word. Like, do you have? Okay, gentlemen. This is, I think it's easy for you to pronounce it. And it's so, it's so not difficult to you. Anyhow, let's move to the other slide to see. Yes, conversation. Gentlemen, as you see in this uh, slides, we have here many peoples. We have the green one and the light green. And we have the brown one and purple, the blue and the red. What are they doing? What do you think they are doing? What are they doing exactly? They are talking to each other. This man is talking to this, and this one is talking to this one. Also, they are talking to each other. Any, any activities like this, we are calling this activity conversation. Conversation. Like a dialogue. Like a dialogue. There is a conversation between one and two, or two and three. Three and two. Okay? Many conversation. We can converse with many people or a group of people. Anyhow, gentlemen, conversation also the best way to develop any languages in the world. Anyhow, we have here, gentlemen, in this slide, families, families is a conversation. We have a conversation here. I want you to listen to this conversation carefully. And we have to discuss something about this conversation. As you see, this picture is talking about this uh, this dialogue we have here, Sabah and Badriyum. Listen to these girls, then we have to practice some uh, questions after listening. Listen. Are you ready for listening? Yes, that's great. La sound, sounds great. Page 36. 6. Conversation. Tell me about your family. Well, I come from a big family. I have four sisters, no brothers. Five girls in your family? Wow! Are any of your sisters married? Yes, one is married and the others are all single. I've got a little nephew and a little niece. So you're an aunt? Yeah, I'm an aunt. How about you? I'm an only child, but I have lots of cousins. Do you miss having a brother or sister? Not really. I have the house all to myself. Well, gentlemen and girls, this uh, conversation is about Sabah and Badriya. They are talking about the family. As you see, Sabah talked to Badriya. She said, tell me about your family. She said, well, I come from a big family. I have four sisters and no brothers. That Badriya has... Four sisters, no brothers. Sabah. Four girls in your family? Wow! Are any of your sisters married? That means get married? Does she have any son or daughters like that? Okay. Yes, one is only one is married and the others are still single. Three of her family still single but only one are married. I have got a little nephew and a little niece. What do you mean by nephew and what do you mean by niece? Gentlemen, nephew is the son or the daughter of, of the brother and niece is the daughter or the son of sister. Anyhow, gentlemen, here we have, so you are an aunt. She asked it, you are an aunt. Oh my God, yes, I am an aunt. How about you? I am an only child, Sabah, only one child, but I have a lot of cousins. Do you miss having a brother or sister? Naturally, naturally, I have the house all to myself. This is about the family and the small, a big family about Bedria. She, she is talking about her family and the parts of her family. Let's see the discussion about this. Anyhow, gentlemen, here we have many questions about the conversation about Bedria and Sabah. The first question is, how many brothers and sisters does Badriya have? How many brothers and sisters? She has four brothers, right or wrong? No, she has four sisters, not brothers. She has only four sisters, not brothers. That's right. This is the correct answer. But she has only one, no brother. She doesn't have any brothers, only four sisters. How, how many are not married? How many are not married? 
one or two or three how many are not married only one or two or three no three three are not married they are still single is Bidri an aunt yes she is yes she is that's great yes she is how about you Sabah how about you she is an only child she is an only child does she miss having a brother or sister does she miss having brother or sister Naturally, 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 exactly. Okay, it, let, let's talk about you. It's a time to talk about you, gentlemen and girls. You have now to introduce your family and to tell us, to tell your partner, to tell your sister, to tell your brother or to tell your friend about your family. Can you tell me how many brothers, how many sisters, how many uncles, how many aunts, how many cousins? Okay, it's a time to, to to introduce yourself, exactly, and it's your flow. Anyhow, gentlemen, look at this slides. Bring a photo of your family and draw an imaginary family. Try to imagine and try to draw any tree about your family in order to see what it is about. Describe the family members to a partner group. Here we have an example about myself. Here I'm talking about myself. I said, this is my sister. She or her name is Sulaf. Her name is Sulaf. Her age is five years old. Her age is five years old. Well, this is a good example for your family to introduce us and to draw a tree and a picture about your family. Anyhow, gentlemen, here we have real talk. What do you mean by real talk? Real talk, gentlemen, it means I've got. It means that the synonyms for I've got, it means I have. Naturally, it means no, not very much. No, not very much. Well, gentlemen, we can move to this slide and to see the family tree. I want to ask you about this family tree. Who's that old man and who's that old woman? And who's that man? And who's that uh, woman? This man and that woman. Okay, this girl, this boy, this girl, this boy. All of these sons or boys and girls. Who are they? Who are they? Here we have gentlemen. It's this is we call it the family tree. This is we call it the family tree. Any one of you, any one of you has this tree, and he has grandfather and grandmother. We call this old man grandfather, and we call this old woman grandmother. Also here, for example, husband or his brother, his, his, this is, we call it his son, his daughter, for example, okay. And this one also uh, his uh, uh, son and his daughter. Here we can say this, this is a father and this is a mother. This is a father and this is a mother, and there are their sons and daughters, okay. And this is we call him uncle, and this is we call her aunt. Also, we have here also many brothers and many sisters. Here we call them cousins, or we call them daughter and sons. Daughter and sons. Anyhow, let's compare between these two boxes. We have on the left, and we have the other on the right. We want to see who's there and who's there. Let me check the first here we have grandfather on the right on the left we have grandfather this is grandfather i will put here the male section and this is the female section let's compare between these these two boxes okay the other slides we have grandmother and we see also father the other it will be mother yes that's great here we have uncle the other which have and ah, that's great yes sounds great good bravo here we have husband, spouse. Okay, what hair? Wife, that's right. That's right, nice. Here we have son. The other we have daughter. Yes, male and female. Boy and girls. That's nice. That's great. Cousin. Cousins both. Yes, that's we can say daughter, uh, daughter of cousins, and uh, we have also son of cousins. Here we have nephew, and here we have niece. That's right. This is a boy, and that one is a girl. That's so good. Okay. Gentlemen, we have here to come to the conclude our lesson today. Gentlemen and girls, we have the summary. At the end of this lesson, we learned the pronunciation, 
words are pronounced together quickly and we learned also listening we listen to short and to many activities for listening like uh, conversation and like pronunciation and like uh, short dialogues okay also we have conversation about you we practice a conversation and we talked about yourself anyhow gentlemen we move to the other slide which is the references as you know gentlemen here we have a super goal one teacher's guide this is our references today gentlemen and also we use the students book you can go also google clip arts for pictures you can go to the websites and to check all of the pictures you can find it there anyhow gentlemen and girls we can add more information for you which is that n.edu.com by the official website for n also we have in the twitter we have n under t for edu for twitter we can go on twitter and see all of these websites in order to support your information or you can go to the official n gate in order to support your information thank you for listening gentlemen this is Mansour Garni. have a nice day and goodbye